At first glance, in Soviet times, the salary of the General Secretary of the Central Committee of the KPSU, Leonid Brezhnev, was not so great, 800 rubles. But if you recalculate this money at the current exchange rate, you will get about 150,000 rubles. Is it a lot or a little? For such a position, this is not so much. But it is interesting to find out how Brezhnev actually lived. In the video, I will tell you about his hobbies and real estate, as well as why Leonid Ilyich could not pay even for a small souvenir. It turns out that Leonid Brezhnev was not so modest in his expenses. For example, in 1973, he was awarded a prize of 25,000 rubles. At that time, it was fabulous money. And then there were the incredible fees that the Secretary General received for his books. Those people who lived in Soviet times perfectly remember small books called Malaya Zemli Virgin Land Renaissance for these works. Brezhnev received a good fee of 180,000 rubles, and that as not all, he received the Lenin Prize for these creations. The books were published in huge editions, at least 15 million copies each. The students had to learn these works by heart. Books were constantly being sold and republished, and the Secretary General as income grew accordingly. How Leonid Ilyich as salary also grew. In 1974, 500 rubles were added to it, and for years later, 200 more rubles. Curiously, Brezhnev as funds were completely managed by his wife. It was family budget planning. The Brezhnev family lived in a six-room apartment on Kutuzovsky Prospect. It was located in a house where government officials lived, but not of high rank. The apartment occupied an entire floor, had an area of 185 squares to bathrooms and was furnished with expensive furniture. In fact, they were two apartments connected to each other. Today, almost nothing has changed in the Brezhnev entrance. There is still a special communication stand on the landing. This state of affairs seemed to party comrades to be wrong. Therefore, the construction of a chic nine-story building was started, which is located on Granitney Lane. Construction was completed in 1978, and the building opened its doors to the esteemed Leonid Ilyich and other high-ranking officials. The Secretary General was offered luxury apartments with an area of 500 square meters. Brezhnev was persuaded to move. They said that the housing was incredibly comfortable, beautiful and decent. However, he categorically refused and did not leave Kutuzovsky as prospect. It is not known for certain why this happened, but there is a version that the Secretary General considered the new apartment too luxurious for his modest person. One of Leonid Ilyich's passions was cars. According to his contemporaries, his collection numbered up to 300 iron horses. Very often, he received cars as a gift from high-ranking guests. For example, the Lincoln Continental Limousine was received by American President Nixon, the Maserati Quattroport from the leader of the Italian Communist Party, and the 600th Mercedes from the German Chancellor. Not bad gifts, which are simply impossible to refuse. The cars were parked in the Kremlin as Special Purpose Garage, as well as at Brezhnevas Dacha in Zerkai. When the Secretary General left this world, the collection was scattered and sold. Brezhnev started driving a car during the Great Patriotic War and just loved to drive at high speed. He often staged real races along the highway, which was cleared of other vehicles, which sometimes shocked from political guests. In addition to luxury imported cars, Brezhnev had another hobby, hunting. Apparently, since then, it has become a tradition to arrange hunting trips for high-ranking officials. Leonid Brezhnev loved this activity and was fond of collecting hunting weapons. The collection was decent and very expensive. It as funny, but such a wealthy man as Secretary General Leonid Brezhnev almost never carried cash with him. However, why did he need them? After all, the state fully provided Brezhnev with everything necessary, starting with a balanced and high-quality three meals a day and ending with a beautiful cottage. By the way, there were several datches there. One of them, Glenesia, was originally built in 1955 for Nikita Khrushchev, and later became Brezhnev's favorite dacha. The second cottage is Baltic Breeze Cottage in Jamola, Latvia. The third one is in Pitsunda, located on the shore of Lake Ritza. In 1960, the Secretary General was allocated a cottage in the Moscow region, in the district. You get used to good things quickly. Therefore, Brezhnev very often simply forgot that you need to pay for purchases. For example, 
When traveling around the country, he could go into a store, choose a souvenir and put it in his pocket without paying. The guards of the secretary general had to put money in the cash register. Rumors that Brezhnev took the goods without payment should not have leaked to the people. That as the kind of communism 